Hey there, we'll be taking a look at how to connect a payment gateway to your website. By doing this, you'll be able to start accepting payments from anyone who is purchasing something on your website, such as a membership plan, and that transaction will be processed through whichever payment gateway you choose to use. So in our website's admin area, let's head into Finance and Payment Settings. We support some of the most popular payment gateways, such as PayPal, Stripe, Authorize.net, ToCheckout, and more. In this video, we'll be focusing on Stripe. It's the most stable option with free signup, no monthly fees, relatively low transaction rates, and support for most currencies. The first thing we'll do is select the Stripe option from the Connect Your Payment Gateway dropdown. Now we'll go to Stripe.com to log into our Stripe account or create an account if we don't already have one. Since this is a brand new Stripe account, we can see here that Stripe is prompting us to add business details to activate our account. So we'll click Start Now, and here's where we'll need to enter those business details, including the primary account holder's basic info, your bank account details, a brief description of your business. In this case, I'll simply say that I have a membership website, as well as some other information. Now Stripe does have their own support documentation and video tutorials that will walk you through all of this if you find that you need some help or if Stripe happens to update any of their setup process after we publish this video. So I'm going to go through this process myself and I'll be back with you in just a second. Okay, so I went ahead and added the business details to my Stripe account and it only took a couple minutes. Next, what we can do in the left-hand menu, let's click on developers and then API keys. Here Stripe will provide us with a publishable key and a secret key. We need to copy the publishable key and go back into our website's admin area to paste it where prompted, and we'll do the same thing with the secret key. And we'll click save and continue. And that's all there is to it. We can see that Stripe is active on our website, and just to make sure, if we go to the front end of the website and we go to the pricing page, we can select one of our plans, which will take us to a checkout page. And here we can see Stripe's secure credit card input field, letting us know that we've set up Stripe correctly. If we go back into our website's admin area, we can then go to transaction history within finance, and here is where we can keep track of all the transactions that have taken place on our website, including payments received, upcoming payments, past dues, refunds, and stopped payments. As you can see, this was a very simple process that should only take a few minutes. Stripe does require quite a bit of business information from you if you are creating a new account with them, but that's only to comply with government regulations and you don't need to have a registered business in order to create a Stripe account. So congratulations, you're now ready to start accepting payments on your website. If you have questions, please reach out at any time. Our team is always happy to help and support you.